What's up, fish tank people? Hey, this is Mike Colleen at MikeColleen.com. Lower that a little bit. There we go. Hey, I just want to do a quick intro. I want to give a shout out to a guy who I've learned a lot from. Uh, if you're into fish tanks and, or if you want to be and you want to make it easy and learn how to do it, go to Dustin's Fish Tanks on YouTube and also go to his website. It's a brand new website, Dustin's Fish Tanks with an S at the end. Dustin's with an S. Fish Tanks, plural. Dot com. So Dustin's Fish Tanks dot com. And he's got phenomenal prices. He's got free videos all over YouTube. You will learn everything, okay? And this is just kind of a quick intro to a kind of a long video I just made about my fish tank. Uh, one of my fish tanks, the one that's actually back there. It's a huge vase. It's a 25 and a half or three quarters tall and about 11 inches wide. Uh, and it is just working perfect the water's clear the fish are healthy everything is just perfect and it's a kind of rare to get the balance just right i admit i got lucky on that tank so i'm going to put that in here next i made the other video a little while ago i had lights off i don't know why <laughs> but it's nighttime right now so we got to be kind of quiet anyways remember buy my book crack the female code.com or sign up for my courses this is mike colleen and mike and buy the book at crackthefemalecode.com. And remember, subscribe. I don't normally do uh, fish tanks, but I think I'm going to do a video on why fish tanks are really good when it comes to dating. All right. Talk to you soon. Check out my other Hey, this is Mike Colleen. I want to show you my uh, fish tank. I know it's dark. I'll turn the light on. But look how I don't. If you're into fish tanks, dude, the water in this thing is so clear. And I don't know why. I, don't, I barely even. Here, let me move forward. Hopefully that thing will. Yeah. Well, maybe you can't see it that well. I'll turn the light on, but the water is super. Oh, wait, I guess the lighting is not very good, but oh, let me turn the light on. One second. All right. Yeah, see, it's just too bright now, isn't it? Fuck. Man. Let me do this. Let's move that back. Back, 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 back. Well, it's not really like the best. Oh, okay, that's good. Isn't that an awesome fish tank? Let me make that go down. Dude, that this is an eight and a half gallon vase, and I've got seven inches of sand. It's a gravel sand. It's a system that I was taught. Oh, there's my business license, by the way. It was a system that I was taught, and most people say it don't work, but it works great. I've got 13 fish in there. I've got a cheap filter on there. It's a freaking, uh, God, it's a kind of bite at Petco, but they work great. Can't think of the name right now, damn it. Uh, Tetra, Tetra 10 gallon. I don't know, hold on. All right. I got the Whisper. That's what I got in there, and it is kick, the Whisper 10i, and I don't know if you can see how clear the water is. You probably can't, but the water is super, super, super clear. I've got all these plants in here, and they're growing great, and all I have in there is sand. Now, I put this little stick inside a fertilizer stick, and uh, that's all I had until about two or three days ago. I added some little... Uh, homemade uh, root tabs that I made. So I put about three or four of those, Awesome Coat Plus. And I put some Amazonian soil in little uh, capsules. You just put them together. So I shoved about four in there, five so they get a little bit. But all that growth is just from the sand, the food, the poop, because all that turns into soil or nutrients. And I do put a little bit of nutrients at the top, but not that much anymore. So let me turn the water bubble on. Hold on. Is that better? Maybe not. If I turn like that, no. Anyways, I like it with a more light better. Anyways, I don't know. The only reason why I'm showing this is because I'm proud of it. This tank I got really, really lucky on. I can't really see the green at the top. Let me see if I can move it. It's too bright, damn it. Well, you can kind of see. There we go. Kind of see the green stuff at top. I got a couple plants, but there's one in there. 
it's this one. I mean, and I forget the name. Wow, it's too long. That thing just that thing was like three, four inches. A friend gave it to me, and I can't remember the name, but it absorbs the nutrients super well, better than duckweed actually, and all that stuff. And it grows super fast. Or at least it's grown in this tank. My other tank, I had to change the lights to like this one. It's an indoor plant light from Philips. Um, actually, you know what? I could put a Philips in just the other day. Forgot about that. I got some poop. Let's see what else we can get. Let's see if we can get really super, super, super close. Maybe you can see some of the fish. Even closer. There, there you go. That's my little Habaroses. And... Got some other fish in there, but they're hiding. This will make them come out. Hold on. There they are. Hello. So I've got a total of 13 fish in there. The nitrates, the ammonia, and nitrites are low. The pH is 6.8. Everything is super healthy in this freaking tank. It's amazing. I got this little CO2 thing here. But I don't use it because it's a pain in the ass. It didn't really work. I was afraid it was going to put junk in my tank. I only used it for like a week, two weeks. But it's kind of interesting, so I left it hooked up in case I want to do it again. What else? I don't know. Let's show it up. Oh, man. Hold on. Sorry. I'm actually using my computer camera because my other camera is not working. Hey, look at the substrate. See how deep that substrate is? That's seven inches of freaking gravelly sand substrate. Most people say it don't work. I've been doing this for like seven months now. No problems at all. They say ammonia, but you just poke the little things with a chopstick. Let me pull that light off again, see what happens. All right, all right. So how does that look? Let's get it from another angle. Let's go over here. Here's my teddy bear. <laughs> Let's go like that. Yeah. I just put the bubble water or the whatever the bubbles on. Um, what else? Get around. Oh yeah, yeah. That's a cool little angle right there. Those the swords are just growing hella fast. Everything in here is growing. I've even got plants with color. Let's see if we can we can get that. See them plants right down here. And then back up here a little bit. Oh yeah, back in there. They've actually got color in there, which I think is odd because they got a cheap light on there. I have a CFL 6500 right now, but for the last five, six months, I've had a, um, it's just a Philips indoor plant light uh, that I actually really like, but they kind of run hot and it's summertime. It's worn my tank up. And it's just a Philips uh, A19, Agro 19 light freaking cheap like five bucks works awesome but they only work for about four or five months but who cares so for two years you got to buy two bulbs ten bucks big deal but that to me is what made all that plant growth i love those freaking lights cheap tank cheap substrate got some awesome plants works great um that's it hey, let me lift it up kind of see like, there's the filter there's my plants. I love those plants. They're awesome. I got a couple different plants hanging. One I need to plant. Uh, two I need to plant. Uh, but that's pretty much it. I think it's beautiful. Oh yeah, and I got some cool little things around it. Got my little house over there, right here. <laughs> it was for Christmas. I left it. Got my little energy stone and candle, which goes there. That's it. My other tank is way, well, the lights aren't on. You're not going to be able to see it. So, I don't know. That's it. The reason why I want to put this, this fish tank out there, some people ask to see it. But the main reason is because this thick substrate, the sand, it's like a gravelly sand. It creates aerobic and anaerobic bacteria, which eats up, let's get my head in there, which eats up the uh, ammonia, nitrites, nitrates. Uh, breaks down this uh, stuff. I, here's another secret. Hold on. If you want to put good bacteria, use this stuff. 
Special Blend Micro Lift. All right, or Microbe Lift. All right. When you first start a tank, you should use for a small tank. It's about a half a capful every day for 30 days, and then it's only once when you add water or do water changes. You do that, it'll break down the food, break down the poop. I forget what's in here. I forgot the name of it, but a lot of the bacteria stuff you buy is cheap. This is the good stuff, man. Special blend micro lift, and that's what makes this whole tank work. Without freaking, without this stuff, it's not even on. Without this stuff. The tank wouldn't work. The tank is what sets it up. Fish are healthy because most people say, oh, you can't have 13 fish. And by the way, the orange fish are freaking big. They're about two, three inches. Most of them are three inches. One's about two and a half. But they're huge freaking fish. So I got 13 fish in there. Now, most people are like, oh, you can't do that. And you know what? I only have to clean the filter once a month, if that. It's just a natural, the way the whole system's set up, everything kind of cleans everything. I don't put any water purifiers or what would a water clarifier. I tried it in my other tank. My other tank isn't working as well. But uh, I could talk forever about this tank. So if you're into fish tanks, dude, you know that this is a great tank. And the funny thing is I don't have soil in this one. But my next tank, I bought a 55-gallon. I'm going to make that a planted soil tank, pure soil. All right, I'll talk to you soon. All right, hey, thanks, guys. Peace. Oh, remember, buy my book, Crack the Female Code, Dating and Relationship Coaching Guide. That book will blow your mind away. I've had tremendous uh, responses from that book, testimonials, emails, without even asking. So, crackthefemalecode.com. And remember, click subscribe. And I think it's going to be right here. Oops, oops, right here. There. All right, peace out.